Jeremy Bentham was an English philosopher born in 1748 and is known for being the father of utilitarianism. But what Bentham did in life is arguably not the only interesting thing about him. When Jeremy died in 1832, he left his last will and testament to a friend, Dr. Southwood Smith. In it, he gave specific instructions on the fate of his body post-mortem. Bentham requested that his body be publicly dissected in the name of medical science. After his corpse was reduced to his skeleton, it was then reassembled, stuffed, and posed in Bentham's own clothes to be put on display. This is what he called his auto-icon. Bentham also instructed for his head to be removed and then preserved with a Maori embalming technique. Unfortunately, it turns out that Southwood Smith wasn't exactly an expert in this kind of mummification and dried out his friend's head a little too much. Deciding that JB's head was super unpleasant to look at, Southwood chose to replace it with a wax replica instead. The auto icon was then displayed at the University College London in a glass cabinet, with the real head displayed at his feet. That is, until in 1990, when it was rumored that UCL's rival university, King's College, kept stealing the head, and it was taken off display and placed into storage. All human taxidermy jokes aside, Jeremy was also considered a social radical of his time because his ideas were surprisingly progressive. He was an advocate for things like women's rights, the decriminalization of homosexuality, and the abolishment of slavery. And even though his motionless corpse displayed in the halls of UCL might give you the creeps, Jeremy Bentham was one of the first people to donate his body to science and consider the invaluable knowledge we could gain from it after death. You could say he was ahead of his time. <laughs>